Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Murtaza Ahmad Chishti. I am the director of Heart, Lung and uh, Vascular Surgery, Heart and Lung Transplant, Artemis Hospital, Sector 51, Gurgaon. Today I will tell you about two most common diseases that affect the heart. The most common disease that affects the heart is that of coronary arteries. Basically, the vessels which supply blood to the heart often get diseased because of smoking, diabetes and high blood pressure and lack of exercise and obesity. And when this happens, the heart can be endangered because there can be a heart attack which means part of the muscle of the heart is damaged permanently and the heart then becomes weak and can lead to failure. This disease is effectively treated by coronary artery bypass grafting which means we use new arteries uh, to bypass the obstructions in these coronary arteries. Most commonly we uh, use vessels which are called mammary arteries which are on either side of the breast bone inside the chest and we very carefully dissect them and use them to bypass the coronary arteries which means the arteries of the heart. And these mammary arteries are the best conduits you can use because they are basically permanent solution to coronary artery bypass grafting. Um, sometimes we cannot use uh, mammary arteries. In that case, then we use arteries from the arms called the radial arteries. And in sometimes uh, we also need vessels from the legs, which are the veins. Uh, which is generally not our preference, but they can have to be used sometimes. Uh, coronary artery bypass grafting is basically a permanent solution for uh, coronary artery disease and can be done with negligible uh, complications and negligible risk of death. Uh, even though this is a good and permanent solution for this problem, the patient still needs to modify his lifestyle, give up smoking, increase exercise as per the advice of the physician and uh, control his diabetes and hypertension very strictly and um, use appropriate medicines, some of which are needed for the rest of their lives. And uh, the second problem I would like to mention today is that of the valves. See, the heart is a pump. Its function is to pump blood around the body. It has got two main parts, the right side and the left side. The right side of the heart serves the lungs, sends the impure blood to the lungs, and the lungs purify that blood that comes to the left side of the heart. And the left side of the heart then supplies the blood to the whole body. Like any other pump, the heart cannot function without functioning valves. Basically, the valves must permit blood to flow without any obstruction in strictly in one direction and when needed they must flow open and close open so that though there is no obstruction of blood flow and close so that the blood doesn't leak back it goes keep it keeps going in one direction so there are two ways these valves can be affected either they become narrow and offer obstruction to blood flow or they fail to close which means they leak in either way we had to fix them if they are symptomatic and medicines don't work. Um, for the leaks, our first preference is to repair the valves. Repair has the advantage that it lasts long and there is no need for blood thinners, generally speaking, for these patients. And uh, patients' life expectancy is better. But sometimes repairs are not possible, so we have to replace these valves. And replacement is with artificial valves which are broadly of two kinds one is the mechanical valves and other is tissue valves generally speaking in younger people we prefer mechanical valves and in older people we prefer tissue valves the advantage of tissue valves is that generally speaking they don't need blood thinners but if someone has a mechanical valve uh, the patient must be on adequate blood thinner medicines for the rest of their lives and again uh, valve surgery is done with minimal 
uh, morbidity and mortality meaning minimal complications and minimal risk of death. Um, these patients of course need lifelong and close follow-up to make sure the complications are kept at bay and the valve is observed for any further problems like leakage or blockages. And I want all of you to know that we are quite happy to respond to questions and queries uh, to patients and clear any doubts and uh, elaborate more on any certain points. We can be contacted by phone or email address.